Hello and welcome to the first part of uh, the machine learning course. In this complete uh, course of machine learning, we will be covering various topics and in that the first module that we will be covering is uh, we'll be having an introduction to machine learning we will see what's the need for machine learning what are the types of machine learning what's the relationship of machine learning with other uh, fields like data analysis data analytics we'll also learn a lot about uh, big data analytics uh, different types of analytics uh, we'll see what's descriptive statistics what's univariate data bivariate data and this entire lecture has been uh, uh, we I have followed the reference uh, textbook S. Sridhar by S. Sridhar and M. Vijayalakshmi the machine learning book you can also refer the other uh, reference books as well today's session I will uh, mainly discuss about the need for machine learning and what is the knowledge pyramid so let's start so basically uh, the need for machine learning is the various business organizations today they have numerous data so there's a need for machine learning uh, today and one of the some of the three primary reasons that we can state here is the first one is the high volume of available data right this high volume of data that everyone today in the world are actually generating and especially big companies like Facebook Twitter YouTube generate huge amount of data which is growing at a phenomenal rate and it is even estimated that the data actually doubles every year the second reason is the cost of storage of data that has drastically reduced over these uh, recent years the hardware cost has come down now it's easier for everyone to capture the data to process the data to store the data distribute data and transfer the information the third reason is availability of complex algorithms especially with the advent of deep learning many algorithms are not available here to solve complex scenarios right so these complex algorithms can be easily all these complex algorithms can only be can all be easily implemented using machine learning so the main goal of objective or or objective of machine learning or ml is to process these uh, archived data from the organizations so that you can make better decisions you can design new products and improve the business process and thereby develop a decision support system now coming to the knowledge pyramid so this is a normal knowledge pyramid as you can see the lowermost layer is the data which is actually the raw data and as you go up you have the information then you have the knowledge the intelligence and the wisdom so coming to the data that's the lowermost layer in the knowledge pyramid basically it's nothing but numbers text images or videos that can be processed by a computer so as I already told you organizations today are accumulating vast and growing amount of data and uh, all these data can be uh, stored in various data sources it can be from data warehouses databases or flat files this data is just a raw fact right so that data has to be now processed so processed data is called as a information so the next level in the knowledge pyramid is information so information is nothing but processed data and it includes patterns associations or relationships among data so for example if you uh, if I have sales data probably let's take the sales data is in the form of a simple excel file so that data which we have collected is just the raw data which is at the lowermost layer of the knowledge pyramid so from this sales data suppose I want to extract information about which product is fast selling so that becomes an information so that's the next layer of knowledge pyramid so information is nothing but processed data so the next layer next is the knowledge so what is knowledge knowledge is nothing but condensed information right see unless knowledge is extracted the data is of no use right so if you consider the same sales data I had the raw sales data from which I have taken some information regarding the products which are fast selling now about this fast selling data if I try to analyze what are the historical data about this fast selling data what was the historical pattern of sale of this fast selling product and what is a future trend of this product so then that becomes the knowledge okay so knowledge is a condensed information now about knowledge we have a layer called as intelligence now knowledge is also of no use unless you put into action right so what is intelligence it's an actionable form of knowledge 
right so computers so far today or the robots whatever you are seeing today implemented using ai they are all successful only up to this layer right only up to the intelligence layer because above intelligence you have something called as wisdom so wisdom is the ultimate objective of the knowledge pyramid it is a maturity of the mind that is so far exhibited only by the humans so here comes the need for ml so basically what's the objective of machine learning or ml it is to process the archive data for the organizations so that we can take better decisions design new products improve the business process and thereby develop decision support systems okay so just to summarize the knowledge pyramid has five layers data at the lowest most layer wisdom at the top most layer data is followed by information which is nothing but the process data about that you have knowledge which is the condensed information about that you have intelligence and about that you have wisdom so that was about to today's session where we have just discussed about what's the uh, need for machine learning and we have discussed what's the knowledge pyramid in the next session we will discuss about what is ml we'll see the formal definition of ml in the words of top machine so we'll meet you in the next session with regarding to this so please subscribe to the channel and uh, please subscribe so that you can stay in touch with all the other contents of the channel uh, thank you so much